Hi everyone, and thank you so much for clicking on my video today. As most of you know, I am a professional fashion designer, yeah? And today we're going to be rating celebrities' outfits from the VMAs. As a lot of you know, the VMAs happened yesterday, yeah? And if you don't know what the VMA awards are, yeah, me neither, okay? I only watch it to see the celebrities and their outfits. So, th so basically the VMAs is an award show that gives out like trophies to artists for the best songs of this current year. Just before we start, I want to make it clear that this is just my opinion, yeah. If you disagree with me, that's absolutely fine. You're more than welcome to go into the comments and let me know what you guys think. Like, I'm always open to listen to other people's opinions and like points of view and stuff like that. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video. I really hope you guys like it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and leaving me a comment. All you need to do is hit that little red button and leave me a comment comment, and you bring this guy joy. Number one, Lil Nas. I really like his outfit. I give it an eight out of 10. He's probably the only one who can wear a carpet and make it look good. I also really like his hair. I'm definitely getting some like glam rock kind of like vibes from him. The reason I also like Lil Nas is because when I was watching the VMAs live and he was like walking down the red carpet, he has this like vibe, like this attitude. Yeah, and he walks and he like struts his stuff and he's like, he's like, yeah, I know. I know I look good. I know you want me. And that, like, I love the confidence that he gives off and the energy. Number two, Bella Porch. If you guys don't know, Bella Porch has been receiving a lot of hate on social media for being invited to the VMAs because people are saying stuff like, oh, she's not even a celebrity. All she does is, like, kind of bob her head and stuff like that. And, like, like, look, at the end of the day, I'm not a fan of Bella Porch, but, like, she's got over 80 million, like, followers and people seem to really enjoy her content and stuff like that. So so if it's making people happy and people enjoy her content, I don't see why she shouldn't be invited to it, if that makes sense. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about their outfits. Okay, so I have to give her outfit a six out of 10. And the reason I give her a six out of 10 is because like when I first saw her outfit, I got like, I definitely got some like vampire like vibes from her. Like if you, if you just change her eyes, like put some red contact lenses, I'll be like, holy crap, it's Dracula. Bella Porch is known for being a cute like Daisy kind of girl. Oh, yeah, and I think she really should have embraced the cute side and I think she just went in the wrong direction with this like outfit But I'm not a fashion designer. So what do I know number three Sean Mendes and Camilla? I hope I don't get any hate for this, but I'm gonna have to rate their outfits a five out of ten I'm so sorry guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry guys. Let me, let me explain. Let me please please just let me let me explain. The reason I've given them such a low score is simply because I've seen them on other catwalks and on other catwalks, their outfits have just been way more like amazing. Here is a picture of them at the Mets and holy crap, 10 out of 10, their outfits together, they look so cute together. Shawn Mendes, where's your shirt gone? Doesn't matter, you don't need a shirt. I'm actually serious now, Shawn Mendes, if you're watching this, where did you get that leather jacket? Because I want it. Number four, Megan Fox. I'm really sorry, Megan, but I'm going to have to rate your outfit a three out of 10. The reason I'm not a fan of Megan Fox's outfit is because it feels like it's a bit like, too like, oh, look at me kind of thing. And I don't think you need to be half naked in order to be sexy, if that that makes sense but that's just my opinion i want to hear your opinion so go into the comments and let me know number five machine gun kelly okay i really like machine gun kelly's music my favorite song from machine gun kelly is candy go check it out it's so catchy and just sticks on your head uh but we're not talking about that we're talking about his outfit and i personally really really like it i'll give him a 7.5 out of 10 and the reason like you're probably thinking like if you really like, like will if you really like it why why are you giving him a 7.5 out of 10 and the reason i'm giving him a 7.5 out of 10 is because he blends in too well with the carpet and the background and he doesn't like stand out properly as he should. I hope that makes sense. And also he's wearing a suit and there's someone else at this event that is wearing a, su a suit and he, he just pulls it off way better. Number six, AJ McLean. Okay, I don't really know much about AJ McLean and I don't really listen to his music, but when I was watching the VMAs live and I saw him like walk onto the red carpet, I was like, holy crap, that's such a nice outfit. The mustard yellow, the chains, the hat, the glasses, like and, and the shoes, it all works really, really well. It just pops at you. like. 
Like you can't not look at him. Does that make sense? For that reason, I'm giving his outfit a 10 out of 10. It's just, it's just perfect. It's just perfect. Hands down, hands down. Number seven, Kim Petras, three out of 10. I'm really sorry, Kim, if you're watching this. I'm sure you're a very lovely girl in person, but I am not a fan of the outfit. Okay, so she's wearing this like full latex bodysuit that even covers the face. And she's also got this like dress on and it just doesn't work for me. The dress that she's wearing looks like one of those like old fashioned dolls that you like see in like horror films and stuff like that. As for the latex suit, I really don't like it. It can't be comfortable to wear and it's covering the face and I don't think you should cover up the face. Let us see your beauty. Let's see, let's see your face. Do you know what I mean? Why would you cover it up? I just don't get it. The old fashioned dress and the latex full body suit, the combination together just does not work. Number eight, Ed Sheeran. Okay, I have a personal soft spot for Ed Sheeran. I absolutely love his music and I love him as a character. Like he's so quirky and bubbly and I just love everything about him. However, we're not talking about that. We're talking about his outfit and I'm really, really sorry Ed Sheeran, but like I love you to bits and I'm not a fan of the outfit. I'm going to give Ed Sheeran's outfit a four out of 10. And the reason I've given him a four out of 10 is simply because I have seen this outfit before and I've seen it done better. Okay, here's a picture of Justin Bieber wearing a very similar outfit. And as you can see on the blaze, that pattern it's very similar but instead of being a yellow it's more of a gold and like the the pattern is actually stitched into his blazer it looks expensive and i'm also getting some very asian vibes i really 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 like it as for ed sheeran the pattern on his blazer isn't actually sewed into his blazer it's just printed on and it compared to justin bieber's like outfit it just looks a bit cheap i'm really sorry ed sheeran i love you but i'm really sorry but the outfit is just doesn't work for me Number nine, Tanache. This outfit looks really, really good. I'm definitely getting some early 2000 vibes from her. They're like, they just looks really, really interesting. Like all the stitches and stuff like that. And that like top thing on her, like that's really, really cute. And the hair, it just all works together, especially with her skin tone. That's why I'm giving her an eight out of 10. Number 10, Doja Cat. Doja Cat is probably like one of the biggest artists, especially on TikTok at the moment. Like currently, like everybody like knows that. Like, everybody knows her songs and stuff like that. Her outfit, I really, really do like it. I give it a seven out of 10. Uh, I'm definitely getting some like tribal vibes from her, especially with those like rocks around her neck. And the reason I've given her a 7 out of 10 is because compared to some of the other outfits in this like catalog kind of thing, it's it's uh, it's not as good as them, if that makes sense. But she still looks very, very nice. Number 11, Musk Graves. I really hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Okay, I don't really know much about Musk Graves, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about our outfit. And by far, it like stands out, definitely stands out. But whether the question it is in the good way or a bad way, that's up to you guys. But for me personally, I'm giving her a five out of 10. Like the wig is like, when I look at her, yeah. When I look at her, I'm not looking at her like her face, her like dress and like all the rest of her outfit. I'm looking at her wig and being like, how does that not blow away? The thing is with her particular outfit, I'm looking at her hair and just her hair, if like this bit, if that makes sense. I'm not looking her at her whole outfit as a whole, if that makes sense. For that reason, I'm giving her a five out of 10. I hope that like kind of makes sense. It simply just doesn't make me go like, wow. Do you know what I mean? Number 12, Avril Lavigne. Okay. Okay, I actually listened to a lot of her music when I was younger, but I kind of like grew out of it. But we're not talking about that. Her outfit, yeah, I actually think like she pulls it off. I actually really, really like it. For that reason, I give her an eight out of 10. And the reason like she pulls it off because like, I don't think any other artist, any other person could like she does. Because like, if you don't know who she is, she's quite a rebellious person. Like her brand is like, you know, you know, like tough, like kind of girl kind of vibes. And that is why she pulls, pulls it off, if that makes sense. Number 12, Olivia. Olivia Rodrigo. Like some of the other ones in this category, there's not much to say about this outfit. She looks really, really nice, and for that reason, I give her an 8 out of 10. But the reason I've given her an 8 out of 10 and not anything higher, because she looks really good, very nice, like simple dress, simple yet effective, but it doesn't make me go, wow, holy crap. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's number 14, Charlie D'Amelio. Now, if you don't know who Charlie D'Amelio is, like you've been living under a rock for the past year, okay? She's like probably like the biggest, like one of the biggest TikTokers in the world. Her outfit looks very, very cute. Like it's definitely her kind of style and stuff like that. But for the VMAs, I don't think it's like the, re the right outfit for this occasion. When I first looked at her outfit, the first thing that came to my mind is 
like this, it looks like this girl is like going clubbing for the first time. Do you know what I'm talking about? For that particular reason, I'm giving Charlie a 6.5 out of 10. Number 15, Billie Eilish. I'm really sorry, Billie, but I have to give you outfit a 2 out of 10. The reason I've given her a 2 out of 10 is because I've seen her in other outfits, other, like dresses where she looks absolutely gorgeous but this is the vmas and she's wearing an oversized hoodie <laughs> like it's like she woke up in the morning and said screw it and then put on like a hoodie that was just on the floor or something like that and just gone to the vmas but if she if that actually like happened she actually like did that yeah i'm gonna move that up to a, a three out of ten okay that's the entire video guys i really really hope you like it and like i said before this is just my opinion this is like my thoughts and stuff like that if you disagree with me that's absolutely fine you're more than welcome to go into the comments and let me know what you guys think i'd love to read your comments and stuff like that and i know there was like other celebrities at this event but i didn't i simply just didn't want the video to like be too long i just want to get like like the like the main like big celebs if that makes sense so yeah if you're new here consider to subscribing like if you subscribe you make me the happiest person in the world and that's pretty much it guys i'll see you in the next video